so calculator is over next code is a trigonometry code correct so what we are doing here is this the way we have done uh, the calculator the addition subtraction and division uh, now we will be doing the trigonometric operation so what are those trigonometry operation the trigonometry operations are sin cos sin cos and tan right so these all operations we are doing at a server end and sending back the result it's a same code as a calculator code still i will explain you again so that with a revision it is clear for you fine so we will start with the server code so at a server code the important part is we are supposed to include two headers for the socket they are types dot h and socket dot l and then again we are using the functions like inet underscore addr h2ns for that purpose we require inet dot h correct in a trigonometry we are uh, using a sine cos tan that's the require that's the reason we required the math dot h as well so first part at the server end is we need to create a socket with a uh, with a variables a socket with a parameters as af underscore inet which is i which is ip before socket and then the type of a socket as a sock underscore stream which is a connection oriented tcp socket tcp sockets are always connection oriented socket so here we have created the socket if the socket call fails it is going to return a minus one so then we can say that once if we get an answer uh, a minus one or the answer which is less than zero then it is your failure in the execution of api the next step is to define the variables or to define the structures uh, with a uh, with a type sock addr underscore in so one structure we require for the server address or the server information and another we require for the client information the next task is now to populate the server information in the structure so we will be populating the server information as af underscore inet then there is the address uh, 127.0.0.1 and the port number so these all information been populated for the server side the next part is to bind this particular socket right so now we are binding the socket with the help of the socket fd the structure and the size of so bind is going to give or bind is going to specify the memory address or the memory location for a given socket so once we do a bind the next task the next important task at the server end is to listen listen for the connection so here i am at a listen and then i will move to the client side in the client side or at a client side again the same we have to create a socket we we have to populate a sock and sock addr underscore in structure with a variable and then do connect the connect has to be done with a socket fd and the information about the socket so once i do a connect at the client end i will be uh, accepting it at a server end so this accept will be executed at a server end so this is how my client server communicates now after this there will be read write which is happening at server and client side so what the client is going to do the client is going to ask a user to enter an operation and then to enter a angle in degrees correct so the operation which is entered by the user has to be returned to the server side so i will be using api as write at the same time at a server side i will be reading this operation in a similar manner i will be writing the angle which is entered by the user because here i am doing a trigonometry calculator which is going to calculate a sin cos or a tan of a given angle so i i am writing the angle which is uh, for which the sin cos or tan is required to a server end so the server will read the angle by using the read now what is the task for the server the server for the now the server task is to actual perform the operation the server is going to say calculate the sine of the angle 1 into the value 
get value is what pi by 180 and then it is going to find the sign for a given value in the similar manner it can find the cos for the given value and tan for the given value if something the other than this is entered then we will be writing as unsupported operations right so the server is going to get a result now that result has to send back to the client so there will be a write right so write will be writing your result on the connection on the given connection handle so this is going to write your result to a client right to a given connection handle fine so at a client we will be reading the result and printing it and then closing the socket the similar manner at a server end also so what the client has did the client has read and closed read printed and close the connection at the similar manner the server is also going to close the connection so this was all about the theory related to the trigonometry implementation so we will see the uh, program for this Fine. So there are C trigonometry dot C and yes. So how are we supposed to compile G C C minus O? I am going to create a server uh, object with a name as a server and then compiled a file. Correct. So this has compiled. Okay. Okay. So for this, I required minus L M, a support of a math library. Please remember the compilation steps again. Uh, just a second. I will clear this. Okay, so please see here I do ls minus l. I will remove this server, right? So ls minus l. If I simply do gcc minus o server and then I do uh, s trigonometry dot c, what I get? I get few errors as undefined reference to sine, cos, and tan. So for this functionalities of sine, cos, and tan, I required a linkage of the math library so that linkage of math library will be done with minus l option so minus o server server is trigonometry dot c minus lm so i am linking the math library so now you can see that my server object is created right similarly similarly let me compile the client side also so gcc now here i am not using those sin cos tan of uh, function so i will be just writing a simple gcc command so client and then c trigonometry dot c so it has com compiled successfully so now i have received two object client executable and a server executable so dot slash server is going to execute my server so i'm executing the server as this so what 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 has been displayed on the screen now uh, we get a socket created successfully bind successful listen successful connect successfully still remaining right or the accept successfully still remaining you see here carefully that accept is still remaining at a server end oh i'm so sorry now what i i will do i will be executing the client program here sorry i will be executing a client program here so once i do a connect from the client right what i did what i have received here at a server end uh, accept successful i hope you are able to see this accept successful good so now uh, i uh, the user has been prompted to enter the operation successfully so let me enter the operation as one because i want to do the sign so rent, enter the angle in degrees say 90 degrees correct so operation result from the server is 1 dot 0 so sin of 90 is 1 did you understood the score so this is all about the client server programming related to the trigonometry